Hey guys, what is up? It's Max here, and welcome back to a brand new video. And see about to today's video, we're going to be discussing a potential new Pokemon Legends Kiram leak or a return to Unova in the near future. These are all uh, on Twitter. Um, you know, these have leaked before. I know guys like A Drive and stuff have covered this, but I wanted to cover this today too because it's actually strange and cool that this theory has come to light. So we'll go over to Twitter right now from Eclipse Flamingo. Give him a follow. Very credible in the Pokemon League community. Um, you know, it, always covering stuff like this. So I did see Adri put a video out on this, but I wanted to cover it myself. So Real League's DLC edition number one, which is the Teal Mask, I believe it's called. Our fake, there is a coughing uh, and wheezing watermelon form. A new Pokemon related to expressive desire or requesting wishes. Probably a paradox not confirmed. If this paradox could be a Zelf to continue with the legendary trio turn into paradox. So we got... Iron Leaves, Walking Wake, and potentially an Azelf form, a new Paradox form. I don't know if it will be a future or a um, past form. Real League's DLC edition number two. Loyal Threes typings as well as uh, Ogre Pones are the ones depicted here mixed with their special herbs. Loyal Threes share Poison type and are treated kind of like starters from DLC. Guest types will include Fire, Water, Grass in base or hat form. So, um, I don't really know what this picture means, but if you know what that means, <laughs> you're better off than me. DLC edition number three, extra details. Ogre Pond is a flower. Ogre Pond's powers come out from its actual face, which is hidden. That was on a beam. That would be a generic. Uh, Lil 3 wears the pink items that are especially important for their lure and afterwards local tra uh, tradition. So, this one has the like headband. Uh, I, don't, I think it's like a sword type thing. And, its eyes and beak here are pink. Real Leaks, this is what we want to get into. This is the, you know, big thing right here. DLC edition number two. What's that called? I forget. It, but it's got, like, the turtle Pokemon and the Blueberry Academy. Um, this character is more important than the others to help us with the uh, resolution of Terrapagos. Yeah, Terrapagos powers or problems caused by such. He's later drained from Gen 5, his grandchild. And this is a hint that towards the next Pokemon games after the DLC. So apparently this guy right here on the screen is related to Drayden, who we all know from Gen 5. He is the 8th gym leader in black and white. Alright, Real League's next title, the next Pokemon games previously mentioned is related to Unova and is likely another Legends title. Also something unexpected, still linkable to all the Gen 9 plot, continuing and explaining the Paradox motif. Either one of these two options. So there's more Drayden. Um... A convenient city of rapid change showing no traces of the past. So that's from Black and White 2. A city that represents history and values of things. So that would be uh, Opaloid City in Black 2 and White 2. So White 2 is the past. Black 2 is the future. Here is um, Opaloid City in White 2. At the bottom you see it's more, you know, it looks kind of like ruins and stuff like that. And in um, Black 2 it is more of the future type thing. And I think this is black too, if I'm not mistaken. And this is white too, this big tree. So going back on the future and the past um, things in Scarlet and Violet. Real Leaks, uh, DLC 1 or 2 unknown. New Paradox for Gen 5. No extra info other than this. Possible new Paradox of Silcoon and or Dusknoir. Blood Moon Pokemon, probably Mighty Anna, Cross Gen Evolution. Note it could be from Gen 5 and Evolve at Night. So I did see this. Um, you know, that'd be cool if Mighty Anna got a new Evolution. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, DLC number two tidbit I forgot to add something someone or Pokemon will time travel I don't know if it's already in the DLC hiding as normal or if it's coming leaving the present as part of the plot during the actual gameplay it's not gonna be a secret for long no I assume watermelon wheezing line is sure but in fact it could be another Pokemon between Grifflin Swallow Spirit and the new R fake is an edible sweet that can be sold during a festival so candy apple cotton candy etc info this info should be a part of the unknown answer. But it is cool, this part here, that this guy is related to Drayden and could lead us into a new title going back to Unova or forward in Unova because the time travel stuff like that or back in time to Unova. That's why it could be a Legends title, which I'm pretty excited for. That would be very, very cool to see. What do you guys think about this stuff? What do you want to see in the upcoming DLC that will lead us to these things? If you guys are excited, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm out here, guys. Thank you all for watching. Peace.